Howdy folks, today I'm going to show you how to do a compression test on an engine. Um, happens to be my two cylinder John Deere B. Um, at the moment I don't have the specs for what it should be, but I'm going to show you how to do a quick compression test. And it starts off a little bit like this. You have your compression tester here and you thread it into your spark plug hole and you got your gauge here and then what you do is on your other cylinders you'll have your spark plugs out you don't want spark plugs in them you want your spark plug wires of course disconnected you don't want any accidental firings this is a carbureted engine and I just happen to every time I shut this one down to running out of gas in the carburetor by shutting the fuel off from the tank so to do this safely no fuel no spark all the spark plugs out so what we'll do is we'll take the starter and we'll get it to turn over. And we'll wait till it stops rising, which it is done. And we got almost 90 psi on this side. And the other side I already did, and that was a little under 90 psi, so they got about the same. So as far as it goes, this engine. It, it's not running with varying PSI in each cylinder so that that's a good sign but some engines you should have up to 160 pounds of compression for gasoline engines and sometimes for uh, diesel engines it's much more but in this case with this gas engine I think about 90 PSI between 80 and 90 is probably going to be okay. Here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you my compression tester that I just showed you how to use. It's very simple. You put this in. This happens to have a step on it. So you got a larger and a smaller. This will be for your, most of your small engines. This will be for your bigger engines like your automobiles and tractors and stuff like that. So. In this case, we use the bigger threads, and we put this into your spark plug hole on a gasoline engine. And then you tab this end here, and you watch your gauge, and when it stops rising, that's your compression reading. As long as you got everything sealed up and to the best of your ability accurately. Um, it's just a simple tool. This one was... Oh, eighteen dollars I think it was it's uh it's actually kind of old so maybe they're a little more expensive maybe they're a little more cheaper now but this one was eighteen dollars at a farm store I've had it probably 12 years now it's a good little compression tester it's an excellent tool in diagnosing an engine especially an older engine that you don't know its exact shape if you're having a hard time starting it or it just isn't running right you do a compression test on it. If you got one cylinder that's a dead cylinder has a lot less compression than another cylinder or the rest of the cylinders, that's probably your problem your problem cylinder. A lot less would be twenty or more PSI less than the other cylinders in most instances. Sometimes it's a little closer tolerance, like ten or five PSI. But as these engines age, they wear differently in different places, so you can't exactly expect the same reading everywhere. So anyways, folks, that's how to compression test an engine. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more.